That is fun. What's up everybody? My name is Speak. Thanks for stopping back by my channel. This is a Suzuki DRZ 400 SM and it's it's awesome. That that's that's the whole review. You don't have to watch anymore. That's it. Now this is a I guess we'll call it a review, a test ride, a demo ride, I don't know what you want to call it. I mean, it's not really a demo ride, because I did rent this bike while I'm out here in beautiful California. It, it's just great. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it, um, but I, I got to ride uh, this bike like all day uh, yesterday, and uh, I put a few hundred miles on it, um, rode for at least about six hours or so, and I've got another hour or so uh, to be able to ride it today and that's what I'm doing right now I have never ridden a supermoto before which is part of the reason for wanting uh, to ride this bike and I'm really glad that I made the choice to do that uh, if you have an opportunity to rent a bike you know when you're visiting somewhere just do it get something different have fun you know why not experience all different kinds of bikes I had a feeling that I was going to like a supermoto, and I, I darn sure do. Oh, uh, I need to get in this lane. Forgive me, because while I'm doing this review, I also have no idea where I'm going, so GPS, all right. In no particular order, I'm just going to start talking about things, things that I like, things that I don't like, uh, and that's just what this video is going to be. There are dozens and hundreds and thousands of videos about this, uh, the about the DRZ 400 SM and the other models and stuff. Um, this, I think, being one of the most popular ones, but they've been making this bike for a long time. It hasn't really changed much, so I'm probably not going to tell you anything uh, that hasn't been said before. I didn't know what to quite expect with this. Uh, the first thing I noticed, it is light, 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 light. 300 and I'm going to say it's about 320 pounds, wet, 325, give or take, whatever. You know uh and that's <laughs> that's awesome i mean it, it's really light it's lighter than my first bike which is a uh ninja 250 and that weighed like 350 pounds and for comparison now i ride a gsx s 750 that weighs 470 pounds so this is a big difference from that you notice it immediately in every situation that you're in you notice it and that, that's really cool they do have some mods done to this bike. I was actually pleased that they did. Uh, they did the few, there's a few standard bolt-on mods, even though I really don't know a lot about these bikes. Just from, just from some basic reading, you can get an idea of what the, you know, common mods are. And that is the 3x3 mod, which is just like an airbox mod, uh, jetting the carburetor, because yes, you know, in this day and age, this bike still comes from the factory, carbureted, and an aftermarket exhaust. And man, they, you know, the bike just zips. It, it doesn't, it doesn't hesitate at all. It just, it just goes. Now, this bike does not have a lot of high-end power. Just keep that in mind. That kind of brings me to one of my points of, you know, and it's not that it's something that I don't like about the bike necessarily as much as just that the bike is just not designed for that. You know, it's like you want to take your crotch rocket down a dirt trail. Well, I mean, you, you know, you say that it's terrible at it. Well, yeah, it's not designed for that. It just doesn't do so great on the highway. It will get up to speed, 70, 80 miles an hour. It will do it, but the front end gets super light. Um, some of it might have to do with that fender up there, maybe kind of lifting up on the front end. You know, you kind of want to put your weight a little bit more forward on the bike. It's okay. It'll get down the highway, but you definitely don't want to be taking any kind of trips on there. If you've got a mile or two for a commute, you'll be fine, but ultimately it's just not designed for that. Now, where it lives, though, is here, just, you know, kind of bombing around the city, and it does a great job at that, um, especially here in California, where you can lane split, which is the coolest invention ever, 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 ever. Antelope Road, that's where we are right now. Anyway. But this thing absolutely rips it through traffic and stuff. It's, it's awesome, really awesome. And uh, that, that's one of the highlights of this bike, I'd say, is being able to do that. Although it does make you want to be an absolute hoon everywhere that you're going. I mean, just listen to that exhaust popping here. I mean, I'm going 20, 30 miles an hour here and I'm having a blast just, just listening to it. <laughs> uh, 
So yes, very peppy. Um, I don't know how much the mods help with that. Um, I, I was talking to the gentleman uh, with the company that I rented the bike from, and he said that, you know, he told me right away about the mods and stuff, and he said that it really wakes the bike up, and I, I believe him. I mean, that's that's great. It, it feels alive, if, I, if that makes sense. I, you know, I, now I can't say... 100% because I've never ridden a totally stock, you know, SM, but I, I understand what they're getting at with it, you know. I, I'm picking up what they're putting down. Hey, a biker. <laughs> uh, awesome. This thing is a wheelie machine, I do believe, I do declare. Uh, if you're looking for fat wheelies, you might want to find another channel, because I have no skill in that uh, department. There's actually a lot of departments that I don't have any skill in, but yeah, wheelies isn't one of them, but I can tell that this thing would do some mad clutch ups and power release wheelies if you wanted it to. Uh, I choose not to. Um, this bike doesn't have any cr crash protection on it, and it, it's a rental. That's just a bad idea, you know. Oh, while well, I'm sitting here not putting my feet down, that's another thing. This thing will rock out at some slow speeds and, you know, tight maneuvers and stuff like that. It'll, it'll turn really tight, in my opinion. Uh, you can easily maneuver this bike at slow speed. I'm running out of things to say. You'd think after riding the bike for six hours I would have more to say, but, you know, I kind of... I kind of stopped worrying about, <laughs> you know, the, the actual uh, review of the bike and was just enjoying myself out on these, you know, beautiful neighborhood roads. No, I'm just kidding, we were out, out in some, some hills and stuff. traffic that's so cool uh, you don't have to wait oh yeah five years I forgot all right what was I talking about uh yeah so it lane splits pretty good as you can see Something that I didn't like, and it is stock on this bike, but it is easily changed, is the seat. Um, but, it, to be fair, I did spend a long time on this bike. Um, the seat was pretty comfortable for a while, but I was just getting plain sore at the end of the day, so that could be any bike. That's not a huge deal. Uh, more specifically with this bike, something that I did not like is the fact that when you punch it on the throttle, this thing is like sitting on, uh, you know, a uh, hot oil on glass so I don't I don't even know how to describe it it is slick 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 I just like flew to the back of the seat all of a sudden and I was I was not expecting that that's for sure that is for show that that's kind of it I guess I don't know brakes feel great I can't remember if you told me if they're upgraded or not uh, they feel great though honestly so brakes are good, suspension's fine for me, but I, I mean I don't I don't know anything about anything when it comes to bikes, you know. I've never had like a super duper awesome o suspension or anything like that, you know, so I'm not skilled enough to tell you what the pluses and minuses are to this particular suspension. I mean, it's fine for me. Um, I was able to get around corners, bumps, you know, this, that, and the other thing. Uh, the bike's not adjusted to me in any way. I just hopped on and, and go. You don't even need to do full throttle and it just dang it just goes i love it i love it so much i need to get me one of these wife if you are listening i need a supermoto i could easily see this as my only bike uh you know the type of riding that i personally do i can also see this uh as an awesome second bike um i could even see this as a, a first bike i mean you know yes it's powerful you can get into a little bit of trouble with wheelies 
but ultimately this is there's nothing you know super amazing about this bike in regards to uh the power and stuff like that i mean it's it's not it's totally manageable totally manageable and you'd have a lot more fun i think than like a ninja 250 or ninja 300 or cbr 300 what have you i think i think ultimately it would be more fun that's just my opinion though well i am almost at my final destination so i feel like that's a good time to wrap up the video uh in summation this bike is fun 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 it's it's just it's so much fun i i i don't know of any other way to describe it other than that um it certainly has its shortcomings but overall for what you get it is it is really cool so uh definitely check one out if you have the opportunity to borrow one from a friend steal one no no don't don't do that but you know hey just check them, check them out. It, they're, they're awesome. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you stop by and see me again sometime. But until then, goodbye.